Side pass, and this is dangerous with Hakalo coming up in the line. They're just a meter out. They've driven it up over the line. Canada doing a great job holding that up off the line and driving them back. The ball still available though on the far side, and they're in for a try. And that was the big Lokotui place for Gloucester and uh, into the corner for the first points. And we're inside the s two minutes of play in circuit. Richard takes a kick, and it's good. Distance is there. And the ball on the far side. The whistle was gone, and we got some people throwing punches. Hey, 13. As he goes to his pocket, calling out the Tongan player, and it is indeed a red card. And that's what I thought I saw there. Kick is over, and it's good, and that's 9 7 Canada. With a little bit of the stop. Neither have disappointed so far. So Tonga have got to improve on discipline, but Canada. Uh, gave away a lot of scrums, a lot of knock -off. Spun through to White, there's an overlap here. That's Hirayama, he's a seven specialist, he steps and he's got lots of speed. He's got Evans with him, he goes to Evans and Evans has some pace, he's got to take on Piacalo and he does and he's over for a try from inside the own 22. You see the skills of Hirayama, his seven skills. Evans right there with him, time the pass. And Evans pinned back his ears. And the captain, Neely Latu. And that's intercepted now. And there's a drive by Carpenter. He's got people with him. And he gets it on the inside to Hirayama. He passes it to Sean Duke on the far side. And Canada in with another try from a turnover again. And Sean Duke in. With a red card and a yellow. So there's space on this far side. And it's in the hands of Pritchard. And he hands it out to Duke. Duke's got lots of pace. Breaks one, breaks two. And he's got... Pritchard on the far side and he's in for the try. Canada really opening up a lead here and celebrations in the wide pass and that's an intercept try. It's the type of thing that Canada can't be doing. And all the way is Iongi, Viliami, Iongi. Over for the try. That looked like a little bit of miss. Five meters out. The captain comes up with it, and Halu, Halu for the line, and he's over for another try. And that's now 33-27, with a conversion to come. Tongan players rushing back to their side of the pitch. And the flags are up. That gives Canada a nine-point lead of Pau Fisi. And into touch, and the final whistle. Canada 36, Tonga 27, an incredible victory. Canada go 3-0 in the Pacific Nations Cup. We can't say enough about all of these guys. We're going to uh, throw it down. Now Aaron, to the pretty captain, exciting uh, victory on your 50th Carpenter. cap. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Well, uh, it was a little closer than I would like to be. My heart stopped a couple times on the sideline over there when uh, they started playing really well. Uh, Scored a couple tries late in the game. Uh, I think we uh, ran out of gas a little bit, and uh, some of our structures went to the wayside when some of our subs came in. But uh, we get it, gutted it out, and a uh, big victory in the end, and it'll, it'll be a great way to remember my 50th cap. 33 points in the second half. What was said at halftime? Uh, we just came out and said uh, we, we really have these guys, and we have an opportunity because uh, they went down a man in that early half, and we thought we battled well. We just let them in the game too much, kicking away too much ball, so we decided just to hold on to it and uh, go through our phases, and uh, that really led to some good opportunities for us. Aaron, congratulations on the victory and your 50th cap. Thank you very much, Brian. Back into it too much in the second half. Uh, you heard Aaron Carpenter say his, uh, his heart was pumping. We look at the Pacific Nations Cup standing. That looks absolutely beautiful. Three, three games, three wins on top, um, and uh, they've got uh, just Japan to play, who are 0-2 at the moment. Uh, Tonga are going to take on the U.S. and then Fiji to close it out. Canada have a fantastic chance, first time in the Pacific Nations Cup, to uh, to win. Wouldn't that be incredible? First time in the Pacific Nations Cup, and a win would be fantastic for Rugby Canada as we see the players.